Hello, this is Mr. Britton from uh, Britton Computer Tech Tutorials. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is how to make your character shoot uh, a bullet in all four directions. So what I've done uh, in my previous tutorial I showed you how to make the boy move. Um, what I did is I created a sprite and an object for a bullet. So it's just a simple round object, 16 by 16 pixels, and all I'm going to want to do on this is give it one event. So I add event, I go to other, and I put outside room. So that if the bullet goes outside the room, I'll go to the main one tab and I want it to destroy itself. So I print destroy self. That's all the bullet's going to do. We're going to create the bullet in the boy object. So we're going to go back to your character's object and we're going to add a couple things. Number one, we're going to add a create event because we have to use a variable in this called facing. And so we're going to go to the control tab, drag in a set variable. We're going to call this variable facing. And go ahead and give it a value of zero for now. This is how we declare our variable or we set it up so we can use it in the object. Now, what we're going to do in, with this facing variable is we're going to change the facing variable every time we press either left, up, right, or down. So the quickest way to do this is to copy this, and we're going to paste it into the uh, left, the left event. So the left event, when I press the left arrow key, he wants to be facing the left. So the way GameMaker keeps track of uh, the direction you're currently facing is in degrees of a circle. So right is 0, up is 90, left is 180. You don't want to check very relative on this. So up, like I said before, is going to be 90. Right is still going to be 0, so we don't need to change anything on that. And down is going to be 270. So each time you go a different direction, it's now going to keep track of what, uh, of what direction you're currently facing. Now we're going to use this variable in our keyboard event for firing. Now I'm going to use a key press event so that each time you press the key you're going to create a bullet. So key press and I'm going to use the space, uh, the space key. So whenever you press the space you're going to create a instance of your bu bullet. But we want to create a moving instance. So we drag in this one from our main one tab called create moving. And the object you want to create is the bullet we want to create it relative to your character's location. I'm going to go ahead and give it a speed of 12. And the direction that it's going to be created in is your facing variable. So I just type in for direction the word facing. And that's going to use whatever value that the facing, uh, whatever we gave it for our different directions, down is 270, right is 0, up is 90, and left is 180. It'll now create it in that current direction. So let's go ahead and try it and see how this works. So we'll go ahead and run the game. Um, remember last time we were able to move it. So if I press space, he went down. If I go left, he's now going to shoot left, up, well up, and right is that direction. So I can move and I can move and I can shoot in any direction that I'd like. So that's how you create uh, bullets.